To get top dollar for your injury claim, you need to follow the tip I'm going to go over in this video. To show you how this tip works in a real life case, let me tell you the story of my past client, Tanya. Tanya's case is not what I would consider a huge injury case, but she still had a case worth fighting for. While her case involves a car accident, what I'm about to teach you in this video applies to any type of personal injury case, including not only motor vehicle accidents, but also slipper trip and falls, dog attack incidents, or any other type of personal injury case. Tanya was a passenger and not driving at the time of her automobile accident. It was this clear she obviously had no liability in her car accident. The at-fault driver's insurance company accepted liability in her accident shortly after her accident occurred. With liability out of the way, we thus just had to prove the amount of Tanya's damages incurred as a result of the accident. Tanya's primary injuries sustained in the accident were to her neck and low back. She went to the hospital the day after her accident. She was discharged from the hospital after diagnostic testing was performed. She then went to 17 physical therapy visits over a period of about four months. We then collected all of Tanya's medical records and bills, which we then forwarded to the at-fault driver's insurance company along with the demand letter I drafted. In the demand letter, I specifically demanded that the insurance company pay any and all applicable policy limits. In the state I practice in, Kentucky, at-fault insurers are not required to disclose the amount of the at-fault driver's policy limits. Thus, in my opinion, in the vast majority of injury cases, it's wise to demand the policy limits in writing. Demand that the insurance company pay you a big amount. Even if you reside in a state where the at-fault insurer is required to disclose the amount of the policy limits, in my opinion, it is still wise to either demand the full amount of the policy limits or at least demand an amount more than your claim is worth when you begin the settlement negotiations process. In Tanya's case, after we demanded the policy limits, even though Tanya didn't necessarily have what I would consider to be a huge case, the insurer responded to our demand by offering to pay out the policy limits. This particular driver only had the minimum policy limits required in Kentucky of $25,000. But for Tanya's case, that was a good, reasonable settlement in her case considering the circumstances of her case. Tanya was thrilled with this result. If you have an injury case, you should demand that the insurance company pay big. Demand the policy limits or submit your initial demand for an amount that exceeds the value of your case. In my opinion, this is the best way to start negotiations in your case. If you don't demand that the insurance company pay you a large sum, you are simply selling your claim short. But the thing is, what happens when in response to your big demand, the insurance company makes you a lowball offer to settle your injury claim? Well, if that has happened to you, you really should watch this video about to pop up right here where I explain what I recommend you do if you get a low settlement offer in your injury case. Lastly, if you've been injured in a car accident, slipper trip and fall incident, or dog attack incident in Kentucky, remember to don't wait, call Tate. 